what the freak is up guys what the freak is up guys oh my goodness it's your girl coco kenzie as you can see i'm home I'm so happy to be back home my baby's home from the hospital we're doing better we were able to watch our season finale last night at home so if you guys saw last night then we saw what i think many of us predicted anyway that olivia and corey were the winners of love island usa season three I got my Corey headband on to rep for Corey. I do. Now, let me backtrack. So, in saying it was predictable, we saw Will sink his own ship. So, we knew that he wasn't winning anything. We Jeremy's not loved enough. But do I think that had with a little bit more time, could Jeremy and Bailey possibly have pulled it off? Perhaps. Um, Charlie, obviously, you know, you have some people who liked him, some people who really hated him based on the cachet situation. I was not one of them that hated him, I, you know, but, um, you know, I, I mean, I can't say that I felt like him and Elena were such a strong couple that I was like, ooh, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was it. Olivia and Corey won. Now, myself, I don't know about you guys, it was a little dry. It was like Popeye's biscuit dry. Like, it was dry. I was trying to make sure, you know, because like when you're in, like I am a, I, I'm just a germaphobe. So, you know, given when you have to go to the hospital, even though it wasn't COVID related, but with all the stuff going on, I am like crazy. So when I came home, I, you know, I'm taking medicine as precautionary. So when I took my medicine last night, I'm thinking, am I high off this medication or is this show this slow and boring? I mean, I think some things could have been done better. And so really, there, there's really nothing to recap about the show last night. It's simply put, Olivia and Corey won. Other than that, we need to recap this season because a lot of stuff is going on behind the scenes. And then let's talk about what we don't want to happen again because I think it messed up the show. I, like, I really... Now, it wasn't for me. I know some people didn't like certain cast members. I didn't dislike the cast members. As much because there's always going to be some people that you don't like and that's okay and that's good you need a villain you can't just have a whole bunch of people you love you know there has to be layers okay layers you with me right but in in those layers we need to get to know the people know why we don't like them why we like them um, beyond just surface level things and that is a huge difference between last year and this year i felt like last year you really got a feel to um know different people know their interests know kind of you got more than the service level conversations that we seem to get this season so then a lot of times when the people when everyone was talking it seemed so forced it didn't seem genuine it just it seemed scripted it seemed something like and of course last season and seasons prior and seasons in other countries of course there's some scripting and what they kind of are guiding you to say but the authenticity of last year was not felt this year and i don't i can't say that it's all some of it may have been a cast issue because i think in a sense of course when you see the success of last year i mean rightfully so i guess you would want to take the formula from a production standpoint and i guess as a cast member you say okay well these people did this and they were really like so if i do this i too you know maybe like but um but then it just kind of took away from us getting to really know them, I feel. I feel like we didn't get that opportunity. Um, And the too many people were coming in. Too many people coming in and out for me at one time. It was a lot. It was like every other day we got five different people. Five different people, six different people, seven different people. It's just like, oh my goodness, let me get to know this group before we bring in some more. And then I was a little bit confused because we had um quite a few people go home with different situations. Slade had a family um, emergency. He left. Leslie had to go because she broke some rules. Um, and then obviously Shannon and Josh um, with um, his sister passing away. So I was really confused on why people were still going up. Like, I, I felt like it could have been given a break. Well, since two people are saying we're going to go home anyway, then let's save this. And then you know, that way we could get to know a little bit, um, get to know the people a little bit more. And I think the situations we would have seen play out a little bit more. So we could have really seen some truths of how people were really feeling, what how they were really going to move. Because had a few people stayed a little bit longer, mm -mm, 
I don't know that Olivia and Corey would have won. I, do I think they would have been together? Hell no. So, you know, I just have my feelings on that because I feel like it ruined the show. Like, so get it together next year. We can't have that, okay? We cannot have it. <sighs> my thoughts on Olivia and Corey. I like Olivia individually. I like Corey individually. And that was the biggest thing for me this season. I like a lot of people individually. Um, but together, it is not that Olivia and Corey were not okay together. It wasn't believable just given how everything and how random it happened. And not to say that things can't randomly happen. Not to say that. But <clears throat> I felt like this season everybody's relationship was in question with the exception of when we got down to Shannon and Josh, you know, once we saw them, it was like, okay, this, this, this could be real, but, um, everybody else, you just kind of question whether it just seemed like they might've been in it for the month. Then obviously you had the rumors of Kira and Will, which I, I don't know if y'all caught it last night, but I was like, what did Olivia say? Oh, y'all live right down the street from each other. Y'all. I was like, you being shady. No, but I don't but, you know, so you have that and, uh, you know, you just question like, well, do these people really genuinely like each other? So then as we come outside the villa, I felt like it was more going on outside the villa than in the villa because I did not see Amy and Wes connecting the way they did. I mean, of course, I saw them connect a little bit, but I thought it was just keeping it cute for the show. Um, but just to see so many other things on the same page um their body language says they're in tune with each other um so hey you know i don't know we'll see where that goes oh my goodness y'all i don't know like for me i don't know how much y'all were into last season on some of the little i won't say off-brand characters but the ones you didn't see as much so bennett was one of my guys on the show i liked him okay um and you know we didn't really get a feel for who he was but i try to follow everybody so i could still kind of get a feel for who they are I love Bennett's style, his personality. I love him. And when I saw Leslie with him, I was like, girl, you won. You won, honey. You won. I love, love, love Bennett. Where did Leslie come from with Bennett? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I don't love all of people like to be in your DMs. I'm sure, uh, what's it, Yemen, Yemen, whatever. Y'all know the one from the first season who's always in the comments of everybody's stuff. I'm sure he's going to pop up and resurface somewhere. But I was like, Leslie and Bennett, I'm here for y'all, okay? I'm here for all of that. Y'all going to have to convince me with this Cache Cinco situation. Because I'm not convinced, y'all. Like, I really, I like Cache. I like Cinco separate. But, baby, I'm just, like, I know y'all keep trying. I like not y'all because it's, it's just so it's a mixture. And I hate to keep saying y'all because but just, I don't like them to protect me. But it's so many people that are so convinced. And I'm like, what am I not seeing? Because like when I see, I see the way she looks at him, but I don't always see it reciprocated. And just obviously, I know people can make their own decisions and sometimes mess up. But y'all know, I done told y'all, I done made several videos about toxic relationships. And especially, I'm really not down for it. I hate to say it with black people. Because, because I'm all about black love, y'all. Like, I'm black love. I love my black husband. I love my black kids. I love my blackity black situation, y'all, okay? Understand me. So I'm all for it. But I want both of them to be in for it. I want you to like me as much as I like you. And I know when people say, oh, well, he moved her in. and blah, blah. No, I see his daddy all the time um, really milking the situation. And I'm not saying that in a way. I'm just saying he is very hospitable. But I just hope it's genuine. That's the topic of the day, the topic of the season for me. Genuine people. I questioned Olivia with Corey because I feel like Corey, he seems like a sweet guy. He almost seems like naive in some other way, like Jerry Childlike in some ways. Um, so I hope that Olivia is into him as much as she, um, he is into her. Or that they make some kind of agreement. We're gonna go get this bag together. I hope they're in this. I hope their minds are on the same page. Same thing with single and cash. If they agree to get this bag together, hey, I'm all for it. But I don't want to see anybody get played or used because somebody brings up your value. Because cash is good without Cinco. Cinco, not to say that Cinco's brand is not something in itself, but we can all certainly say that cash elevates his um his brand 
So what I want Cash to be sure that she does, please do it, girl. Please do it. I haven't said this to anybody. If you're married, whatever. And of course, you love your husband. Love brand yourself bring yourself have your own and especially just given the situation because when you're in that kind of environment it can be so intense in that bubble but when you step outside y'all seen let's have let's have some grown folks conversation real quick y'all seen the way single looking white girls okay and i'm i'm not anti-interracial dating because i got friends i mean i'm all about it you know i've seen people a couple of cute little something's myself i look some something's myself but I don't feel like he looks at her like with the same enthusiasm that he looked at Leslie or it was somebody else um, or even when he was in the room with Genevieve. It's a different vibe. And so I just want to make sure that it's genuine and authentic and that America, that, he does, that first of all, that he does not feel pressured in himself um, to be with somebody that he truly does not want to be with because she deserves better simply put and then on top of that i don't want him to see it as an opportunity to use anybody i don't want i mean i hope that his dad is genuine but i don't want him to see it as an opportunity for him to see his son on the come up off the off you know off of her back no okay and like and i'm just keeping it real because i've had a lot of people say stuff to me about well did you see charlie's um instagram page he you know he didn't have this and not just Charlie, just other people. I haven't seen this guy. And I agree. I totally agree. Because so often we don't see these guys with people that look like a cash. They're not hanging out with that. The only one I saw with real blackity black people was Wes. He had black friends, black women, black, you know, he, you know, aside from his mama. Okay. So I'm just saying, pay attention to all these little things. Because, I mean, maybe she could be the nominally. I don't uh, know. I'm not. Y'all will never get that word right. Y'all know what I mean. She could be the one off, okay? I know it's been a rough day. So, but um, you know, I just don't know, y'all. Like, I'm not, I'm I'm just I'm 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 I'm, I'm kind of taking it one day at a time because maybe Caleb ruined me last year, like and trying to believe because I don't trust Steve. So and so's, okay. I don't trust. But we're going to see, but I wish her all the best. Oh, my goodness. But I do. When I say brand herself, I want to know who Cash is outside of Cinco. Like, I know she's a dancer. She models. But I want to hear some stories, girl. I want to talk. I want to know about your dancing thing. I like that like, when Justine was there last year, she talked about her go-go experiences when we got to see, um, when you got to see her sister. So we all feel like we know no diggity. We all feel like we know our mom when they came home and celebrate. You know, you just got a real feel. So I was so excited to see the cash was home with her brother yesterday. Um, so I'm just excited to see the journey of some of the cast members as we go along, just to see a little bit more out of them um, with them branding themselves with some of these couples because we might be surprised who knows i don't you know i don't know like i was completely like i said thrown off from amy and west i was completely thrown off from bennett and leslie so you never know i think there's going to be a reunion i heard talks of reunion um which i'm kind of excited about but at the same time I'm like can we just did it because if y'all not gonna give us anything else better than what you've given then you might as well keep it what you can do though is give me the reunion that we deserve from last year because i'm still waiting okay i want to know i want people to explain some of this shiggity that went down mm. last year i want i want I, I now that everybody's had time to sit and collectively um you know think about some of the things that have happened let's reflect and i want to know what you know what some real perspectives were so that's what I have. I'm going to keep you posted as stuff goes along because I'm sure a lot of things will be transpiring outside that villa. Um, we get to see hopefully more Trina's personality. Um, so many people. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, mm, Shannon and Josh come out and, um, you know, come out of mourning because they've been through a lot. You know, hopefully we'll get to see more of their journey. But there's going to be a lot to keep up with, a lot that I'll be following up with you guys on. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. I look so forward to thank you to talking to you guys soon. And thank you for the well wishes for my baby. I really appreciate it. If you have not, go ahead and click that button. Just 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 click it. Just click it. Click it, right? 
click it, subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I will see you in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.